Hello, my name is Anya and I've been teaching in China for five years. My first year I started out in Guizhou province and shortly after I moved to Hangzhou. And teaching in China has really been an amazing experience for me. It's been a very fulfilling experience for me. So I'm grateful for my time here and I would definitely choose to do it all over again if I could. This year has been quite a stressful year for me. Uh, I had a lot of drama and a lot of trouble with getting my passport renewed. So my passport ended up expiring while I was still waiting for my passport to come. Um, but during all of this, Haida truly showed their full support to me. They helped me to go to the bureau and to explain the situation to them. They helped me to get multiple extensions on my visa. So for that, I'm truly grateful. Thank you, Haida. This year, I also moved to a new school, uh, Qianzhang Experimental Foreign Language School. Uh, I'm in the foreign library at the moment, as you can see. So we say, spinning wheel, spin for me, seven fairies, fantasy. One more time. Um, what I really like about my new school is how they integrate English into the kids everyday routine and life They have English reading every morning. They can come to the foreign library and choose some English books to read as well They've even opened a Western cafeteria this year where the students can learn to order in English. So I think the students have a big advantage because they can use their English every single day. I love living in Hangzhou. I definitely think it's one of my favorite cities that I've ever been in. Um, not only because it's so beautiful, but because it mixes the old with the new. Um, there are definitely parts of Hangzhou where you can get a feel of older China and you can see older buildings. And then there's a very modern part of Hangzhou as well. So I truly think it's, it's a very interesting city to live in. Um, also wonderful for when your family comes to visit. Uh, there are so many tourist places to take them to. So yeah, I love living in Hangzhou. Teaching in China for five years has definitely been an experience that I can't explain to anybody else. I think you definitely grow as a teacher. The longer you teach, you, you find your own teaching style and your own way to communicate and relate with the students. So I definitely think that my teaching and my style has changed a lot since my first year. Um, so yeah, I think if in the beginning you struggle and you don't really know how to find your feet, it happens somewhere along the process. Because she is not at the party. 
Yes, they didn't invite her to come to the party, so she is angry. So her name is Greasy Jean. Okay, your turn. Nice. Let's go!